What's going on, young black and wealthy family? Today we went over the definition of what an economic mode is, and now I wanna go over the five primary types of economic modes in business. And I wanna to try to do this as quickly as possible, so we're not gonna go fully into detail on these particular modes, but I wanna kinda of give you guys an idea of some of the companies that fit into these particular categories. Um, the first one is the intangible assets mode. When you think of this mode, think of branding, licensing, and patents. When you think of branding, what's the first companies that come to mind? Companies like Nike, uh, Starbucks, Apple. Um, for licensing, you can think about a business like Starbucks that sells products in their stores, which they have over 32,000 locations but they also license their products out to grocery stores and other businesses, which also gives them a competitive advantage. Um, for patents, um, think of pharmaceutical companies like AbbVie and Eli Lilly. In the case of AbbVie, they have one of the number one selling drugs in history, which is Humira, which they've had a patent on. And basically that gives them a competitive advantage because with them having that patent, other drug makers can't actually reproduce that drug until that patent is up. So um, let's move right along to the next one, which is high switching cost. Um, when you think of high switching cost mode, think of businesses like uh, Amazon and Adobe. In particular, Amazon's web service, which they actually call AWS. And what this is saying is that um, to switch over to another service would cost um, exceedingly more than actually keeping the service that they already have. So if a business has Amazon's web service to switch over to a competitor's brand, they would actually have to, they would actually incur cost to put this particular uh, service in place, retrain employees and other things. So it'll actually be cheaper for them to just remain with Amazon's web service. The same thing for Adobe. So that's basically real simple. Just think of cost. For me to switch to, let's just say, let's just use cell phones as an example. Uh, for me to switch to, uh, let's just say from Apple to a Samsung phone, I might incur certain costs that I don't like, no, I don't wanna really actually pay that because it's gonna cost me more to switch over to that particular phone as opposed to just keeping the one that I have. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, which is cost advantage. This one is real, really, really, really simple. Think of Walmart, okay? And basically what this is saying is that this particular business can produce or purchase products at a lower cost than its competitors and sell it at a higher cost or higher margin than its competitors. Okay, now Walmart is definitely the king of the cost advantage mode because they buy products or they negotiate lower prices for products that they purchase and then they're able to sell them at a lower cost to the public at, a, at, a, at a actually a higher rate than say Target can sell them at and they end up having higher profit margins. So um, that gives them a competitive advantage and Walmart is deeply entrenched in, in that respect, okay? So let's move right along to the next one, which is network effects. When you think of network effects, think of a business like Alphabet who has um, Google, um, and YouTube, which YouTube has 1.5 billion daily users, which is outstanding. So basically what this is saying is, is that um, the more people use this particular service, the more valuable and more deeply entrenched it becomes. It becomes more powerful, it gains more users, which actually produces more profit for that business. So that's a real, real simple example as it relates to a uh, network effect. Just think of YouTube, like in Google, we've used it. The more we used it, now we can't really go through life without using it. It's deeply entrenched in our daily lives and we use it on a daily basis. Just think like how many days 
during the week do you not use Google or YouTube? Probably not that often. We use it every day. I know I do. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is efficient scale. And I want to go over the definition for this particular one. So um, let me go to it real quick so I can give you guys a, a really good example of what it is. My computer's moving a little bit slow. It's moving a lot bit slow, actually. Since it's moving slow, I'm just gonna go ahead off the top. Efficient scale is basically an industry that has a limited amount of competitors. Um, when you think of this particular moat, uh, think of utility companies, railroads. Um, there's not a whole lot of competition in railroads. We got maybe, what, five or six major companies. Um, it's kind of like that in uh, utilities as well uh, for people that provide or businesses that provide electricity and gas and things of that nature. And what this does is it gives those businesses a competitive advantage because it's a lot less com competition. And for another business or a newer business to try to enter that space, it will cost so much money. Like, just think of a, a business, a new railroad is trying to start. It probably costs a trillion dollars straight out the gate just to get started. Um, so that's what gives that particular industry and those particular businesses a competitive advantage. Okay. So basically, uh, there's a limit in the amount of businesses in that particular space, which makes it, uh, which actually gives those businesses an advantage. So um, I hope this helped you guys understand it. I know it was brief, but what I want you guys to do is actually sit down and take the time and study what economics moat is, competitive advantage, and then start to look into some of the companies that you own and some of the companies that you actually want to purchase and see if they have uh, uh, economic moats uh, or competitive advantages. So I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of the day. And please, 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 please don't forget to get a family a hug from me because family is important. Have a good one.